Board of Zoning Adjustment to Order. The board members present today are Angelia Bills Chair, Justin Randall Vice Chair, and Vincent Nutt Member. The, the Department of Planning staff members are Debbie Nedspit, Abby Freudel, Gretchen Arnold, and Aminat Adasana. Also on the call is John Burford from the County Counselor's Office. First, I'd like to offer into the record the affidavit of per publication pertaining to today's meeting, September the 4th, 2024. The board hereby takes official notice of and admits into evidence on the record the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance Chapter 1003, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 is amended, and 1004, St. Louis County Revised Ordinance 1974 is amended. Next, I'd like to call for a motion to approve the minutes of the pre previous BZA meeting of August 21st, 2024. Move to second. I move to approve the minutes. I'll second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. The motion passes. This meeting is conducted as a teleconference and is recorded. The planning staff will re read each request into the record and present technical advice to the board if needed. The petitioner will un will be unmuted, state their name, and make a brief presentation to the board explaining the reason and hardship for the requested variance. The board will not consider financial hardships. Board members may ask questions to clarify the facts. When the board is satisfied with the material presented, the chairperson will then ask if there is anyone in favor or opposition to the request. To do so, click the hand next to your name. If any comments were submitted, the staff will read them into the record. Before a call for the vote, the petitioner may request a continuance in order to bring in additional documentation. The board may also request a continuance to gather additional information or for a visit to the site. Once comments have been heard, the chairperson will call for a vote. At that time, the discussion is ended. No further discussion is permitted. The board will generally make a decision today. If a variance is approved, the petitioner has six months to obtain the necessary permits or establish the use requested, or the variance will expire. The petitioner or any interested party has the right of appeal to the St. Louis County Circuit Court. Paperwork indicating the board's decision will be mailed to the petitioners. First petition is 82-24 Matthew and Elizabeth Monkin requests an exception to the side yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a deck and stairs at 5004 Flintwood Drive, maintaining a side yard of three feet in lieu of eight feet as required by the R3 Residence District regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay. Matthew, I have requested that you unmute. Uh, I apologize. We're still getting our person in. He said that she can hear the audio, but is unable to speak at this point in time from our contractor. Um, do you, what's their name? What's her name, Josh? Jane. Jane? Yeah. I'd like to see if they want if they're able to. Okay. Well, I've also got my contractor here with me on the phone. Is that good where we can work together? That's that's fine yeah, with that's us. Fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Josh, you are on. Uh, thanks for having us today. Uh basically what we're asking. We're asking for a three foot variance from what uh St. Louis County has allowed from the end. The deck has been there for years. But what we'd like to see happen is, is we'd like us to build the deck back with the three foot experience, but within code and within in a safe manner. The thing is currently completely unsafe. Um, it's been verified by several engineers. Um, all the plans that we have submitted have been approved by, approved by St. Louis County's uh, plans with uh, a stamp engineer pl uh, planning. We just need the variance to be approved so we can build this deck back exactly the way it was. It's been there for years. However, we just need to be approved. 
Okay. Oh, did, did you state your name for the record? I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, did you state your name for the record? Oh, yeah. My name is uh, Joshua Daniels. I own Exteriors. I'm the contracting company that's going to be uh, doing the improvements on the deck. We're going to be uh, tearing down the deck except the roof and building back the way it currently is, but within code. Okay, so you're basically uh, up just upgrading the current deck then. just And the deck would be built three foot away from the fence line. Currently, the deck is probably 18 inches from the fence line. Yes. Okay, are there any other questions? And then this <laughs> deck, when we moved in, was passed by occupancy, even though it was not peered correctly and was completely not up to code. Um, and I mean, really, all I'm asking at this point in time is the danger for my family. We're just trying to improve the property. We're not trying to infringe on anyone. Um, so we're just hoping that we can get this going so that our family can be safe and, and enjoy our house. Very well said, Max. That's, that's exactly. Are there any other questions? Um, not at the moment, other than there was an issue of uh, certified letters supposed to be sent to us. And we, we just like a rebuttal at the end. Okay. Yeah, we just like a rebuttal at the end. It's all that. Okay, yeah, jo all Josh or Vince, do you have any questions? Okay. Oh, I'm Is, good right now. You're good too. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor of opposition? Yes. I'm sorry, Abby. Is there anyone here in favor of opposition? My apologies, I did not realize I was muted. Um, no, I did not see any hands, so I've muted the um, the petitioner so the board can take their vote. Okay. Uh, in the matter of 82-24, I vote to approve the variance as advertised. Uh, hardship is just the need to put it in the same space and also to increase the safety. Second the motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Is there any opposed? Aye. Uh, you're opposed? Ben? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So um, the motion passes two to one. Eighty three dash twenty four STL home buyers requests an exception to the front yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a roof over an existing patio at eight one nine Regina Avenue, maintaining a front yard of seven feet in lieu of twenty feet as required by the R five residence district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay, Ben, I have sent you a request to unmute. Hi, this is Ben Ellerman from Blaze Architects representing this project. Uh, our client owns uh, owns this house. It was um, built, we think, somewhere around the turn of the century, although county says uh, um, 1924, 1923. It's um, an unusual house. Um, there's several houses that are close to the street, including this one. Um, and it does not have a front porch. It has a storefront uh, frontage, and it has an existing concrete uh, patio that's uh, five feet by 16 feet in front of the house. Um, uh, based on old aerials, we believe that has been there for quite some time. Um, there's 10 houses on our side of the street, the west side between Orient and Hofmeister. Uh, seven out of the 10 have front porches. 
and one has a side porch. So we're only one of two houses that do not have front porches. Um, we are not putting columns. We're proposing a canopy roof that will project uh, three and a half feet and cover the front door and the front windows so that patio could be used partially with coverage and just ease of access getting in and out of the house without being in the rain since there's there is no overhang on the front of the house because of the storefront elevation. Um, our hardship is based on the location of the house. Um, the house is situated 10.6 feet from the front setback uh, or from the front property line. Um, 20 feet is required. Uh, clearly, we believe this um, house was constructed before the zoning, zoning ordinances were in place. Um, and so we are requesting that uh, a 13 foot, a variance of seven feet, an additional 13 feet to be able to um, build this canopy roof on brackets over the existing patio. Are there any questions? Go ahead. So, so basically, um, it's going to be put in the same previous. Well, no, you don't have a de a front entrance now, correct? No, there is. There's a, there's a two windows and a front door there that are there currently. That's where the front entrance has always been. Uh, okay. but there's just no no coverage or or even any overhang. There's no overhang on the front. Okay. Okay. So you just kind of build a covering over the door. Okay. And I'm assuming most of the houses along this area are all fairly similar with no big front setbacks. They vary a lot um, and there are and many of them are close to the road like we are. Um, so it, it, um, I think people just built kind of hodgepodge however they wanted back at that point on this block. Um, but there are a number of houses that are as close to the street as we are, if not closer. And, and some of those actually have the front porches extending probably even further than where we're proposing this patio roof. I don't have any other questions. Okay. Uh, Vince, I'm, are you guys able to hear Vince right now? I can't. Okay, I've I've seen him move moving his mouth and all, I can't hear anything. So I wanted to make sure, Vince. Sorry that we can hear you. There yeah. we go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, Vince. I was like, I, I think he's asking a question, but um, yeah. So I didn't want to know. I didn't know if it's on my end. I appreciate it. Uh, I was asking Abby if we could go back to the aerial photo. I just wanted to clarify. Sure. Send back of the adjacent houses. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. Look at I have no other questions. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? I do not see any hands, so at this time, I'm going to mute the petitioner so the board can take their vote. This is 83-24. Matter of 83-24 due to the uh, existing neighborhood layout and uh, trying to replace the existing uh, canopy, I make a motion to approve the variance as advertised. Okay, I second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. None opposed. The, the motion passes. Eighty four dash twenty four Wade Ravali requests an exception to the side and rear yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a ten foot by fourteen foot shed at 5005 Flamewood Drive, maintaining a side yard of three feet in lieu of eight feet 
and a rear yard of 6 feet in lieu of 15 feet as required by the R3 Residence District Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay. Wade, I've sent you a request to unmute. Oh, good afternoon, everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, please state your case. Uh, yes, my name is Wade Ravalli. I am the homeowner. I am currently purchased a shed through uh, Tough Shed. And um, I'm, I apologize. Uh, I wasn't made aware of this call until later this afternoon. And I tried to get a hold of somebody with Tough Shed and with people on vacation, people that are out of town, people out on surgery. But the long story short is that currently I have a pre-existing shed that I am looking to replace that is in the same spot in the corner of my lot. And uh, all I'm looking to do is to replace that shed with this 10 by 14 shed that already has a concrete pad and it's about three and six feet away from both sides yards on the, on the lot. Okay. So is the shed slightly larger than you're saying? Yeah, it's slightly lar larger by four feet. Right now there's currently a 10 by 10 shed there. Mm -hmm. And so are you replacing it just to upgrade the shed or? Uh, yes, to upgrade the shed, uh, need more space and, um, uh, currently, the shed that I have doesn't allow for me to get my lawn equipment into into the shed um, because the door is not big enough, and I've tried to increase the door size without it, it wouldn't be structural structurally sound by uh, making the door larger. So I'm kind of stuck and uh, leaving my lawn equipment outside in my yard instead of in my shed, and that's where my issue uh, stemmed from. Are there any other questions? What What is the orientation of the shed, the proposed shed? Is the door facing in this layout? Is it facing which way? All it? right. All right. So if you're looking at my house, um, let's see. So the picture is up the front of my house. Yes, Flamewood Drive. So it's the, the back left-hand corner um, where that concrete pad is. The door is currently facing towards Milburn. Uh, the door would be facing on the new shed uh, towards Flamewood. There will be other, okay, okay. I have no other questions. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor of opposition? I do not see any hands. So at this time, I'm gonna mute the petitioner so the board can take their vote. Is this 84? Yes, this is 84-24. Okay, matter of case 84-24, I make a motion to approve the variance based on the hardship of an existing shed uh, and need for just additional space that is already beyond um, setback. I'll second that motion. Okay, I concur. All of those in favor, aye. 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 None opposed, the motion passes. <clears throat> 85 24, Michael O'Hare and Kathleen Reeker requests an exception to the rear yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a 12 foot by 12 foot shed at 8921 Hollymont Drive, maintaining a rear yard of three feet in lieu of 15 feet as required by the R4 Residence District Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay. okay, Kathleen, you should be able to unmute yourself now. Yes, hi, how are you? Great. Great, great. 
Mm -hmm. um, I just feel that this is the best location for the shed um, because we have trees in the yard that limits where we are going to put the shed. And basically it's better for the neighbors to um, not to have it in the middle of the yard. And that's why we have it in the corner there um, in the far right corner. Okay. And behind us, there's, it's just another fence and there's nothing beyond that. Okay, so you, you kind of back to common ground then? No, it's not common ground. It's someone else's yard. But I'm saying mm -hmm. in their yard, there's, you know, not a building or anything there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a 14 by 14 concrete slab, which we would like to put the 12 by 12 shed on there. Okay. And that's about it. Okay. So one clarification uh, in the drawing shown here for the property line at the top, is that a fence line? At the top, yes. Okay. So you'd be mm -hmm. three foot away from a fence. It's yeah, the um the actual concrete pad is three feet away, so the shed would actually be um I guess it would be uh, five feet away from the fence. Okay, that's why I wanted to confirm the shed won't be at the at the three foot line. Okay. No, that's not all. at all. Not at all. Are there any other questions? I don't have any. Okay. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? Um, I do not see anyone, so at this time I will mute the petitioner so the board can take their vote. Okay. 85-24, uh, I vote to approve the variance as advertised, the hardship being the topography of the land uh, with the trees that they had to put it in that spot. Second that motion. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, none opposed, the motion passes. Eighty-six dash twenty-four, Danny Rodriguez requests an exception to the front side and rear yard regulations for the purpose of constructing a retaining retaining walls and fencing at six two eight Castlewood Drive, maintaining a front yard of zero feet in lieu of fifty feet. <laughs> both side yards of eight feet in lieu of 20 feet and a rear yard of eight feet in lieu of 20 feet as required by the NU non-urban district regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Okay, Danny, you should be able to unmute yourself. You guys hear me? Yes. So, yeah. Um, uh, we buy, I buy this house like a year ago, and so and during all this this time, I was noticing all the ground in the front of the house because they construct the house really close to the road, so it's a mount in the front and a mount in the back. So I got a lot of erosion from the from the back and the front, and the ground is washing. I just want to protect that because it's a it's kind of brand new. Uh, rehab house. We was uh, putting up front um, retaining wall to hold all this ground and no wash from the house and one in the back as well. Um, moving a little bit the mount uh, close uh, eight, to the eight feet is a fence. So I would try uh, my idea is keeping the new retaining wall like eight feet from the existing wood uh, fence. Um, and try keeping all this erosion from the, the ground the ground keeping out the house because it's really the back is really close to the house to the the, the ground and the front I got it the same problem so that's why I proposals uh, put a retaining wall to hold all this ground in place and try be safe when rain or something happen do you have any any a proposed height of the retaining wall? Yeah, in the back is uh, 10 feet high. The front one is five feet. 
So on the, the eight foot setback from the retaining wall, that's still within your property. You'd still be able to maintain that at 10 feet above. Yeah, um, it's uh, actually the ground, the, it's, it's the mount is like, like 11 feet high. So it's really high from the, in the back of the house. So the ground is high. The house is like in a in a hole, like say like this. So uh, it's on the top of the mount is a fence, and the retaining wall will be below the fence, like six feet below the fence. What is the what did they say that there in the back of the house is a is a wood fence, six a foot uh, uh, six foot um, um, wood fence. The retaining wall will be uh, on the line of the bottom of the uh, fence. Okay. So, so we, how much space would you think would be between the fence and the retaining wall? Eight feet. You said eight feet. Yeah. Eight feet. That's the eight feet you're showing. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's from the it's from the it's from the uh, fence to the retaining wall. It's eight feet. I have no further questions. Justin, do you have any questions? No, I was just trying to figure out. Um, can you go back to the aerial for me, please? Sure. So, I mean, it's, it's staying off kind of the little roadway, correct? How far off is that going to be again? From the road? Yeah. 10 feet in the front from okay. the road. Okay. All right. It's 10 feet from the road. I'm good. Is there anyone here in favor or opposition? We have one neighbor on the call and they have raised their hand. So I'm going to uh, mute the petitioner for a moment and, and unmute the neighbor. Um, please be sure to say your name for the record. Okay, you should be able to unmute yourself. My name is Zach Hayes. Are you able to hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, am, I, am I allowed to ask a question to the petitioner? Just clarifying question or do I just state I, I guess this is my first time uh, on a call like this uh, I, if you can just make your statement and and we can ask the petitioner your question okay that's fine um, I just wanted to make sure I that I'm understanding correctly so the retaining wall in the back um, the, the top of that is the idea is to get that the top of the retaining wall up to the level of the bottom of the fence along the back and then the retaining wall in the front of the house the height of that to get to kind of the, the level of the like bottom of the house um i i'm familiar with this area i live just down the road and the house is built into a fairly steep hillside which I believe would be, is the reason, and, and this makes sense to me. I'm just trying to picture it. But uh, assuming that that's the idea as far as the heights of the retaining wall in, in favor. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, will the, now will the petitioner be able to address that question? Yeah, I'm unmuting him now. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, the the re, the front retaining wall will be in the same side of the bottom of the house, so it's five feet in the front, and in the back is on the bottom of the um, it's on the bottom line of the fence, so it's nothing go above crazy. It's just the same height of the front of the house. I will try keeping the same height. We put I think we propose to like six feet, but I think in the end that will be like five feet only in the front. Because five feet, I think, go too high. Okay. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, we are ready to make a decision. Okay, I'll mute the petitioner. This is 86-24. Patchy Vince. Sure. In the matter of uh, 86 24, make a motion to approve the variance, noting the hardship is a very weird topography with a lot of uh, watershed and erosion for safety. Okay. I second that. I'm sorry, Angela. <laughs> That's okay. I concur. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, none opposed. The motion carries. 87-24, James Drury requests an exception to the parking regulations for the purpose of constructing parking, drive aisle, and a drive through lane for a new Burger King at 5601 Telegraph Road, maintaining a front yard of 11 feet in lieu of 15 feet along Baumgartner Road for the parking, a front yard of 12 feet in lieu of 15 feet along Telegraph Road for a drive aisle, and to allow the drive through lane along Telegraph the Telegraph Road frontage as required by the C2 Shopping District Regulations and Section 1003.165 Off-Street Parking and Loading Regulations of the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance. Debbie, do you, are you presenting this petition? Oh, I actually thought Mark Doring was going to be on, um, but it is a repeat from over six months ago. So apparently they're getting ready to start construction. So it's pretty, it's a basically a renewal of the previous request. Yeah, I thought we had seen this one. I mean, it just, if you don't, or if you're not familiar with this, it's a pretty, uh, tight site with two pretty major roads in South County. So, like we was unanimous the last time we looked at it. Uh, okay, so we can make a motion to uh, yeah. reapprove. Yeah, uh, is it 87? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the matter of 87 dash. 24, we make a motion to approve the variances as advertised. Mm -hmm. Second I, motion. Mm -hmm. All those in favor, aye. 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 Okay, the motion passes. And that is all we have. Okay, sounds great. Uh, I move that we adjourn the meeting. A second. Okay, all those in favor, aye. 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 It passes. See y'all in two weeks. Thanks. Have a good one. Thank you. You all too.